Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. Get ready for exciting news on technology, medical cybernetics, and artificial intelligence. And here are the top stories of the last week. Existing artificial hearts have multiple moving parts, which increases the chance of failure. But this new device is just a single piece of material. Researchers inspired by soft robots have built a pumping artificial heart that could one day replace the real deal. The team of bioengineers at Cornell University built their robots out of a solid plastic foam, which naturally has an interconnected network of tubes to let air flow, just as our muscles are permeated by blood vessels. A solid coating of plastic seals everything inside like a skin. The team tested the material with a few simple bending and extending devices that move when filled with air, then constructed a simple model of the human heart. It only has two chambers, as opposed to our four, but powering the heart with air makes it flex and pump water between them. But the foam heart doesn't visibly beat on the outside because the plastic skin means all the expansion happens internally. Researchers at Cumo have developed a way of assembling organic molecules into complex tubular tissue-like structures without the use of molds of techniques like 3D printing. Self-assembling material can grow and change shape and one day could lead to artificial arteries. The method uses solutions of peptide and protein molecules that, upon touching each other, self-assemble to form a dynamic tissue at the point at which they meet. As the material assembles itself, it can be easily guided to grow into complex shapes. This discovery could lead to the engineering of tissues like veins, arteries, or even blood-brain barrier. The technique could also contribute to the creation of better implants, complex tissues, or more effective drug screening methods. Neural implant enables paralyzed LS patient to type six words per minute. A massive collaboration of doctors and computer scientists gets one step closer to mind control devices. An eclectic team of researchers affiliated with BrainGate, a group of neuroscientists, engineers, computer scientists, and mathematicians have published a study in Nature Medicine that profiles two subjects who control a cursor with the thoughts more deftly than previous systems allowed. Earlier versions of the system allowed subjects to perform such tasks as drinking coffee, using a robotic arm, or playing simple games. The latest version brings finer control and ease of use. One participant was even able to type at a rate of six words per minute, using software originally developed to help people type with eye movement. These studies' anonymous objects, referred to as T6 and T7, both suffer from ALS. A year before these tests began, they each had a 4 mm square neural recording device surgically implanted in the part of the brain that controls hand function. The sensor intercepts electrical impulses in the brain and translates them into a computer signal that controls an on-screen cursor. In this study's first test, the participants repeatedly moved the cursors to target on a computer screen, which they accomplished by imagining the index fingers moving on computer trackpads. They each averaged about 2.5 seconds per target. This is a significant improvement over a previous BrainGate 2 trial, in which a different patient performed the same task but averaged 8.5 seconds per target. These experiments are designed to make computers accessible to the disabled. Rabbits have many strange suits, but delicacy traditionally hasn't been one of them. Rigid limbs and digits make it difficult for them to grasp, hold and manipulate a range of everyday objects without dropping or crushing them. Now a soft robotic gripper can gently pick up an identified wide array of objects. At a conference this month, researchers from Distributed Robotics Lab demonstrated a 3D printed robotic hand made out of silicon rubber that can lift and handle objects as delicate as an egg and as thin as a compact disc. Just as impressively, its three fingers have special sensors that can estimate the size and shape of an object accurately enough to identify it from a set of multiple items. The researchers control the gripper via a series of pistons that push pressurized air through the silicon fingers. The pistons cause little bubbles to expand in the fingers, spurring them to stretch and bend. In the future, researchers plan to put more time into improving and adding more sensors that will allow the gripper to identify a wider variety of objects. 
There is a big ocean under the ice. NASA's GPL team is working on a simple solution to get a sense of the deep ocean first. It's working on the Buoyant River for under ice exploration. As you will see in the video, GPL tested in choppy wild waters in Alaska. And that is all for Avatar Technology Digest. Thank you for watching us. You're welcome to subscribe, follow us on social media, leave your comments and join the global conversation. See you soon.